During my third year in college, I went to the local city library and met a really cute girl. I approached her and we chatted for a bit. She claimed that she was single, so we exchanged email contacts. She was studying for a clerical position at a hospital, not in college. We emailed each other for a while, but scheduling a date was challenging due to her work and my school commitments. It turns out she was going through a rough patch with her ex-boyfriend and wanted to break up with him, but didn't want to let me go because she claimed to like me and believed I had a bright future. Our casual dating began a few months after that initial encounter. We went on adventurous dates, explored new places, and spent hours talking about our dreams and aspirations. The more time we spent together, the more I realized how much I enjoyed her company. We laughed together, and she had a unique ability to brighten even my darkest days. After a couple of months of casual dating, I noticed that we were spending more and more time together, as if we were already in a monogamous relationship without officially declaring it. I was fine with that I had fallen for her deeply, and I sensed she felt the same way about me. We planned to move in together once my current lease ended, a natural progression for our relationship. She claimed to have kicked her ex-boyfriend out of her life because he was a deadbeat, refusing to pay rent and having multiple children from different women. Although I was concerned about her past, I trusted her words and believed she had made the right decision. However, as our relationship progressed, I couldn't shake the feeling that she was hiding something. She occasionally didn't answer her phone or took a long time to reply to texts, leaving me feeling frustrated and anxious. After days of hesitation, I finally mustered the courage to ask her directly about what was going on. I wanted her to come clean and be honest with me. When I confronted her, she claimed her ex-boyfriend was stalking her. It was a shocking revelation, and I wasn't sure if I believed her story or not. Doubts and questions filled my mind, but I decided to take her word with a grain of salt. One day, as I was returning from a friend's house, I had a feeling she might be home, so I decided to check in on her. Back then, we didn't have cell phones like we do today, so dropping by unannounced was common. To my surprise, I saw a man coming out of her place, carrying a large box. We passed each other in the hallway, and I couldn't help but be taken aback by this revelation, especially considering she had previously told me he was stalking her. It didn't make sense that she would allow him into her apartment if their relationship was indeed hostile. She reassured me that he had come to collect his things, and the reason for his alleged stalking was that some of his property was still in her possession. As she insisted on this explanation, I couldn't help but wonder if she might be gaslighting me. The situation seemed suspicious, and I couldn't shake the feeling that there might be more to the story than she was letting on. At that point in our relationship, I found myself at a crossroads, unsure if I could fully trust her. With the semester ending and our plan to move in together approaching, my doubts remained. After the incident with her ex-boyfriend, she became excessively affectionate, going out of her way to show her love through cooking for me and buying thoughtful gifts. Part of me suspected that she sensed my hesitation and was trying to win me back with romance, which seemed to be working. Gradually, she started to earn back my trust. However, one unexpected day, she brought up the topic of an open relationship out of the blue. I was taken aback, having never considered such a dynamic before. She spoke about the freedom and liberation it could bring, but I wasn't sure how to respond, so I remained silent, hoping she would drop the subject. Little did I know that this was just the beginning of a revelation that would challenge my understanding of our relationship. During an intimate moment, she began expressing her desire for engaging in extramarital encounters with multiple partners. It felt like a form of foreplay at the time, and I didn't think too much about it in the moment. 
However, after the passion subsided, her words lingered in my mind, and I couldn't shake the feeling that she might actually want to turn this fantasy into reality. The thought consumed me, and I found myself contemplating the implications of such a proposition. I questioned whether our love and commitment were enough for her, and the idea of sharing her with someone else felt unsettling. I wasn't sure if I could go along with it, and the uncertainty weighed on my emotions. This unexpected revelation left me torn and confused, unsure of how to approach the situation. I started to question the love we shared, as our desires seemed to be taking different paths. While struggling to make sense of my feelings, I knew I needed time to process everything before deciding how to move forward. After expressing her desire during an intimate moment, which at the time resonated with me but pleased her, we discussed the matter further. She revealed that her ex-boyfriend enjoyed watching her with other men and suggested the idea of an open relationship once again. I kindly declined, stating that such a lifestyle wasn't something I was interested in. Unfortunately, my decision didn't sit well with her, and she reacted by engaging in passive-aggressive behavior to provoke me. Her attempt to annoy me didn't seem to have the desired effect, so she gradually became less affectionate and even withheld intimacy as a way of expressing her frustration. Comparing me to a child, the situation began to take a toll on me as I found myself preoccupied with these issues causing my studies to suffer due to a lack of focus in school. After careful consideration, I decided to end the relationship. When I returned home, I mustered the courage to communicate my feelings to her, expressing that I no longer wished to be together and that it was best for her to move out. Unfortunately, she reacted with anger and became physically aggressive, resulting in hurtful name-calling and desperate pleas to change my mind. However, I had already made up my mind. I wanted to focus on my studies and future, seeing no place for such drama in my life. The following day, she surprised me by claiming to be pregnant. I was skeptical and thought it could be a manipulation tactic to win me back. Nevertheless, she sent me pictures of pregnancy test results, attempting to prove her point. Despite this, I remained firm in my decision to end the relationship, as I couldn't shake the feeling that she might have acquired the results from anywhere to deceive me. As time passed, the situation became increasingly concerning. Two months later, she texted me to say that she had missed her period again. For months later, she sent me a picture of her baby bump. During this time, mutual friends informed me that they had seen her with other men, including her ex-boyfriend, leading me to consider the possibility that I might not be the father. However, I recall that we had engaged in unprotected intercourse at the time of her pregnancy, although I had a habit of not finishing inside her. Despite being nervous, there was a chance that something might have slipped. Adding to my uncertainty, I was in my final year of college and still quite young, feeling unsure about what to do. I knew that if the child was indeed mine, I would take responsibility and be a responsible father. Throughout the ordeal, I kept a level head and cooperated fully, earning a letter of commendation from the county prosecutor's office for my responsible behavior. It was clear she pursued me because I was in college and had a promising career ahead. I believe she genuinely thought the child was mine or convinced herself enough to truly believe it. I didn't harbor hate towards her, but the combination of how she handled the situation, her open relationship idea, and the cheating was enough to make me walk away from the relationship. Through the grapevine, I found out who the actual father was, and it turned out to be her ex-boyfriend, the same one she claimed was stalking her the one I had even crossed paths with coming out of her apartment with some boxes. Unfortunately, he already had other children from different relationships and wasn't able to provide any support for them. His poor health and drug issues led to his early demise, leaving the poor child without a father figure in his life. 